Hello, my name is Jeff Feige, and I'm with iGel Technology America, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the start menu icon on iGel Linux uh, using the iGel Universal Management Suite. Uh, for this exercise, you'll need 7-zip or some similar program that will allow you to uh, create a tar bz2 file, um, and you'll need uh, an icon file or a JPEG or something that you would like to put in the start menu. First thing we're going to do, I've already created a folder called Start Icons, and inside of it I have my icons. This is the folder we're going to use to create our tar bz2. So add to archive tar, and then add to archive bz2. And there is our our bz2 file that contains a folder that has icons inside of it and now we're going to create a control file so new text document uh, we're going to call it start icons inf and we'll go ahead and edit this um, these are standard for our inf files um, they define the package that we're looking to deploy. We'll go ahead and save that. And so now we have our package and control file ready to deploy to the thin client. So the next step we need to do is we need to open the iGel Universal Management Suite Administrator Console and go to snapshots file source and we'll create a file source called start icons and we'll point it to the folder that contains our INF in this case the start menu icons folder on my desktop okay we'll apply and uh, that's all we need to do in the administrator console and now we need to go to the management suite console and create a new profile and this can be broken apart into two profiles, one to define the custom uh, partition and server, and one to define the icon. But for this exercise, we'll just create one. And we'll call it Start Menu Icons. Best practice would be to break them apart. Um, we'll optimize it for the firmware we're running on our thin client. And we'll go ahead and system firmware customization custom partition doesn't need to be a big partition we'll make it uh, say 16 megabyte and then we'll go to the download part and point it to our INF file which is um, either the IP address or the uh, host name or FQDN of your um, remote management server um, if you don't have it in your DNS, uh, I suggest using the IP address port 9080 for file source uh, definitions and uh, start yeah start icons was the name of our file source and then start icons.inf was the name of the control file that we created. The username and password can be your DBM username and password or any user account that has privileges to access the file sources. Click on OK and then we will go to the registry and define in the window manager so it's um, registry uh, window manager WM0 and then start button icon and we will point this to where it will end up which is custom start icons and then um, green JPEG um, that's the reason we put these in a folder before we made the tar bz2 just in case you have more than one thing that you want to deploy uh, we'll go ahead and save that and then we will apply it to our thin client um, and when we apply this to our thin client see here it gets a new configuration downloads the custom partition and there is our new start menu icon 
uh, just as easily we can go in and go back to this profile and make a change to the um, register key and point it to the other icon that we had which was also put on the custom partition um, and uh, we'll see how that works and again the thin client will get a new configuration and now we have a different icon again my name is Jeff Feige and uh, thank you for watching this short but hopefully helpful video 